back then we used to like dream a lot and talk about our dreams a lot. Yeah, just every day there's like something little that's like, yo, you haven't done this yet. So you just gotta keep going in order to get to, to that point. And then once you get there, there's more dreams, you know what I mean? It never stops. The song was already done. All I did was replace the hook. AKA was singing that hook. And then he was like, yo, I just want you to do it with the R&B oh, vibes and add yeah. the R&B backings. But I didn't write anything. All I had to do was just replace AKA's voice with my voice. Dude, how much you charge? <laughs> Dog. And I'm gonna live. Experiments, uh, experiments are a little dangerous sometimes, man. Would you say would you say the same thing about a girl? Let's say you're trying to get with somebody. <laughs> this guy. Hectic, yeah. Come on, Pella. Uncle Waffles. Waffles. Waffles? Like, Waffle. The best Shots. of the best. The greatest. See, I should be running this podcast. I just pushed him into a corner. <laughs> I'm gonna search Zeus. Zeus. Clearly. Clearly. Apparently you don't want. The rest of the world, what's going on? It's your boy TK, and welcome to another episode of the Juice 2.0. I appreciate you so much for stopping by. Returning subscriber, what's going on, family? If you haven't subscribed, it means you've had you really haven't made it to the family yet, but it's very easy. You click subscribe and let the family grow. Sibling love, family matters. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm chilled all the way from Park 27 and we're broadcasting from Park 27. So big shout out going out to my sponsors, Park 27, for setting it all up. I'm sitting with none other than the gentleman who is very talented. He's leader of the new school. He's yeah, 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 among a lot of other crazy things that you and I enjoy so much when we listen to music, especially South African music. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands, your mother flipping hands together and let's hear it for Blackie. Woo-wee. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's going on, sir? Chilling, chilling. How's yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's happening? I'm nice. How are you? You're in the land, huh? The land of? B-dub. Yeah, yeah. It's my... I've been here a few times. I was about to ask, because I haven't been keeping my tabs, yeah? Yeah. So you'll forgive me for that. I, uh, it's, it's my ignorance, really. <laughs> but uh, would you count five times? I don't know. I think it's been three or four, actually. Three or four? Yeah. What do you love the most about B-Dub? If there's anything you love, man. Um, I think you guys do dope after parties. Like, it's lit. Like, the first time I came here was on... I was on tour, the Before Now tour, for yeah. my debut album. Yeah. And then... Yeah, like, every time I, I do a, a show, the after parties are always lit. So, yeah. What, like happen, what, what happens in an after party? Not necessarily in B-Dub, but at a Blackie performance and then there's an after party. Ah, dog. I just, just tell everyone, yo, let's go to, to that place yeah. that everyone's talking about. Yeah. When we get there, we just stand on tables, stand on couches. Light it up. Turn it up. Yeah. Man, welcome to B-Dub, man. Welcome to the land. Welcome also. And thank you very much for coming by the Juice 2.0. Uh, got you. When I got here, you guys were having a good time in the corner, having your dinner, supper, whatever it was. Yeah. And you're having chicken curry. Yeah. Is that your go-to uh, meal all the time? I mean, if I'm at a if I'm at another spot, yeah, that I'm not really because this is my first time at Park Twenty Seven. Oh, shout Joe. out, you know, for bringing me out here. But yeah, it's like I gotta be safe. I can't, I can't, I can't compromise. Can't try new things. Cause also we drove here, so it took oh, yeah. a while for us to get here. And it's like, yo, the boys are hungry. I'm not gonna like sacrifice my hunger <laughs> just to ex- just to experiment. So yeah. yeah, chicken curry pasta was the way. Also, experience, uh, experiments are a little dangerous sometimes, man. Would you, say, would you say the same thing about a girl? Let's say you're trying to get with somebody. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Hectic, yeah? Let's say you're trying to get with somebody. Is it easier for you to go back to old school or we're also not too sure about experimenting with new things? Like, I feel I'm at a, I'm at a position where it's not, it's not safe to do all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you just got to... Be consistent with whatever you're doing. Stay clean. Yeah. For the brand, yeah? What about you? I'm I'm in a three-year-old relationship now. Exactly. So, <laughs> I see what exactly. you mean, sir. I see what you mean, sir. Exactly. Look, your breakout, your breakout uh moment, would you say, you correct me if I'm wrong, was with Lucas? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? For sure. Describe that environment for me, man. That time period for me, man. You're very young, so much has happened since then. But if you had to just go back there quickly for me and describe it, how would you put it? 
Um, so yeah, we're coming out of lockdown, really. Yeah. Me and Lucas like made a whole bunch of songs in 2020 and dropped them. Yeah. Um, and actually, Big Time wasn't recorded in 2020. It was recorded in 2021. Um, it was after all, not after the hype, but like the hype was there. The foundation was set. Everyone knew that these are the kids that are coming up, and everyone was waiting for you know something special. You know, for a long time we didn't shoot any videos. Really, we were just doing like trailers and TikToks and stuff. And then for that specific song that we recorded, we did an actual, you know, clean video. And then I think that's what really propelled the song and propelled like the image as a whole as, as like me and Lucas as being the kids that are coming up. It really took that image and that vibe to a place where everyone can sort of see it. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. What I want to congratulate you is something big that's happened since the time that you started. I want to congratulate you for Sete. Oh, yeah. God damn it, son. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. For sure. Shout that out That song, bro. Big shout out, yeah. Big shout out, KO. But tell me about the making of Set There, man. Uh, it obviously blew up. Yeah. It became what it is right now, uh, which you must obviously celebrate as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Big song, big record. Shout out to Young Stunner also. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... I feel, I think KO spoke about it a few times actually. Um, but yeah, he said like he initially he wanted to have like, you know, artists from out of South Africa, like, yeah. you know, Nigerian or, you know, whoever he was listening to at the time. Create a vibe, And yeah. then I think he changed his mind last minute, if I, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then when he came to me, the song already had Steiner who's on the hook. And then him on the verse, and he was like, "Yo, there's this space, you know, let's do something with it." Yeah. At the time, he was he was um, distributing like the the new, well, it's not new now, but at the time it was of like course, the new yeah, merch. Of course, it was new, yeah. The new merch for for Skanda, um, and he dropped it off, and he was like, "Yo, let's have a session." Um, then a few days or a few weeks later, he pulled up, and we did, and I did the verse, and then. Yeah, I didn't think much of it actually. Yeah, um, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's not my song, so I mean, yeah, would, right, right, right. Every time I do a feature, I feel like yo, I did my part, you know, and it's up to the artist. And then to push with, it in with him, it was like yo, it's a big song for him. You know what I mean? He's yeah. about to shoot a video. He's about to do crazy stuff with it. And then when it came out, I was like yo, this is you know really crazy. Straight up. Um, yeah. Then we did the video, and, and you it was know, over. one of the biggest songs. After that, it was it was over. Ever. It was over. You're a very well-known artist, man. And I think that's something that's really amazing. How does it feel walking in the streets of South Africa, walking in the streets of B-Dub and people notice you, come over, do you say what up? Yeah. Try to take pictures. Is that something that you've gotten used to? Is it still kind of strange? Uh, do we get a big head a little bit out of something like that? I feel like you do get a big head. I was thinking about it recently, like, yo, some of my, what do I say? Like my mannerisms and the way I act, in certain situations yeah. are like a a result of like everything that's like happening you, around you know me, you know shit. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, dog, there's no way I can't, I can't ignore it, you know what I mean? There's no way, it's just, I'm just gonna act like, Straight, you yeah. know? Like a normal human yes, being. Yes, <laughs> there's no way, but I feel like I can't, I can't really get used to it because at the time when I was blowing up, like couldn't you couldn't really go outside. Yeah. So now, like, I just be doing random stuff sometimes, like just going to the store and stuff. And I don't know, it feels like I forget. Yeah. But I'm not really forgetting, but it's like, I just want to see if I can still do normal shit. And it's straight, like, nah, straight. I can't. It's, it, it's impossible, <laughs> it's man. It's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah. Uh, how, do you treat, how do you treat that, though, in terms of, look, your music is amazing, by the way. Appreciate that. Your music is amazing. I think one of my favorite tracks uh, by you What's that song that you did with uh, with Reese? Sneaky. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one also. Shout out to hey, Reese. Just dropped the Bad Guy music video. Shout out to him. You've worked with a lot of people, man. Who are some of your favorites to have worked with? Apart from KO and Sana that you've already worked with? Um. Oh, I just came from an American trip. I did a song with Nelly Furtado. That was crazy. Oh shit, I saw pictures and shit, bro. Yeah, that was mad, bro. That was hard, bro. It's a crazy full circle moment, you know, because I grew up in like a a colored community, so. Oh, nice, yeah. You know, a lot of lot of the stuff they were listening to was produced by Timberland. And, Straight. You know, a lot of the songs produced by Timberland. Timberland really at the time, yeah. You know? So, yeah, it's just, just a crazy dope moment. But other than that, 
um, just working with my peers, you know, yeah. people like Leo, people like, you know, Lil Nosebleed, Kill yeah. Brady, shout yeah. out to them, um, GMG, you know, yeah. That's dope, man. And then Yeah, 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 Yeah became an anthem as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, has, the, has, the, has the fire kind of dumbed down a little bit or is still kind of fiery with that track when you go on the stage that, and perform that it? That particular song. That particular song, yeah. I feel like that's that's an anthem, bro. I don't think it'll you know ever what I go mean? down. Because obviously I say that in most of my songs. Like yeah. when people hear that in the song, they already know I'm about to go on and do what I do. Um, so yeah, every time I perform it, 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 it goes crazy. That's an anthem. anthem yeah, that's anthem. What, one of my favorite tracks as well. It's anthem, you can sing along to it, you can bump to it. For sure. You're in B-Dub right now. You're scheduled to perform at the University of Botswana? Yeah. Is that the only place you're performing at tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For sure, for sure. Dude, how much you charge? <laughs> Dog. An arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to catch you off guard a little bit, but can't I can't do that, me. right? Never, 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 never. never, never. Dog, are you street smart? I feel like I am a bit. Yeah. I didn't really, I didn't really, I wasn't out in the streets like that all the time. Okay, yeah, yeah. I got super focused on like academics and stuff, but you know, I grew up in a little bit of a tough area. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I guess I, I know a few things, but I don't I don't want to be that guy that's known for being I feel you. in the streets. I feel now. you. I mean, nobody's going to hustle you out of anything. That's for sure. Nah, 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 nah. I, Look, know, my, I know my things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so performing at UB tonight, uh, it's in a couple of hours, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of hours. What are you looking forward to mostly, man? You've already had an experience with Botswana environment. The kind of crowd has anything changed in terms of expectation uh what are you looking forward to tonight um i haven't been here in a while so there's a lot of songs that drop that i haven't really got to perform for them specifically yeah, yeah. um but yeah like every time i go out of SA, it's like mainly i just like try to remember like all the dms because i'll be looking at my dms a lot yeah so yeah, a lot of the people from out here are like, yo, when are you coming back? Straight, yeah. You know? Oh, they so, love you here. Yeah, so it's just for that, like just to feel that energy that they were giving in the dams to be like, yo, I'm out here now, you know, let's make it happen. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited for that. I love that, man. It's a lot of love in B-Dub. Also because of how cool you are and your music is really, really, ah, oh, your music, hip hop, trap, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Would you dive into I'm a Piano at all? I have, I have done a few stuff. Shout out to Stana. This Big shout out, something yeah. Something with him. There's something with Lady Do also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a few how things does, with Pori, Kamsa. Yeah. How does that? Uh, I'm a Purisa as well. Yeah, yeah. So how does that? How does that pocket uh, fit in? I mean, I, I be, I be singing a lot. Um, <laughs> like I did an R&B project even. So yeah. when I when I do do um, piano, it's not really like the. Like the upbeat, like loud stuff. I like okay. the more chill, mellow. Soulful, yeah, 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 for sure. I think. Uh, what do you What do you make of? Because uh, we're speaking about mellow yanos, right? Marumba Peach. Crazy. I'm fucking with those dudes, man. Crazy. Dog, I saw. I have his number. He's saying he's sick right now, and he has to perform. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but that's Marumba Peach is crazy. I, I mess with them a lot. Yeah. 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 Um. Well, I wouldn't profess to know a lot about the Yano, so let me let it go. <laughs> let me let it go. For sure. But because you're also in B-Dub, before I exhaust this, who are some of the artists, man, that you actually fuck with, if you actually know a few artists in B-Dub that you fuck with? I know a girl named, I don't know if it's a surname or a name. Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. Hold on, uh, I'll find her. I'll find her. I don't think it's that so I, I think I know who he's talking about, yeah. How do you pronounce T-I-T-O-S-E? Titose. Yes. She's lit. Shit. She's lit. I had an episode with her on my show. Crazy. Yeah, and uh, she mentioned how she kind of knows you without really mentioning that she knows you. Yeah, from way back. I haven't met her yet, actually. Oh, shit. So if she, do, if she comes out to the show tonight, that'll be the first That'll time. be dope. I'm gonna hit but, her up. I'm gonna hit her up. I have a, <laughs> I have a phone. Yeah. But yeah, from way back, like when I started, like 2017, 2018, yeah. was when I started knowing her through um, one of her producers. His right, name right. is Akeem. Um, yeah. He's from um, the Eastern Cape in 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 South Africa. So right. Yeah, she's cool. 
I mean, but I, I I might just dive in some more. Maybe you let me know who's out here. Who do you believe uh, in? It's it's a lot of cats, man. But I'm a I'm a little biased because these are also my friends when it comes to the rap scene. Uh, Viso View. Viso View. Viso View. There's a gentleman called Ban T. Ban T. There's a gentleman called Tabs. So out of them, who's the who's the one? Yeah, don't do that to me, man. Who's the one? I'm only gonna search one name. Don't, I'm not gonna... don't do that to me, man. I'm only gonna search one of those names. All of them, all of them are the one. Also, there's a gentleman called Zeus. So I'm gonna search Zeus. Uh, Zeus. So, so he's the one. Zeus is uh, Zeus. gentleman. I'm sorry, but Zeus is Zeus the one. Is the, you heard it from the man himself. <laughs> Zeus for me will always be the one, man. See, I should be running this podcast. I just pushed him into a corner. <laughs> I'm gonna search Zeus. Zeus. Clearly, clearly. Apparently, you're the one. Hey, Doug. Speaking of putting people in the corner, man. Michali or Faith and Ketsi? Faith, Doug. Hip hop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Queen twerk from yeah. way back, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who else I got? Come on, Pella. Uncle Waffles. Waffles. Waffles? Like, Waffler. The best Shots. of the best. The greatest to ever do. She's on tour right now. America, yeah. she's going crazy. So shout out to her. I also met Sakamo though. I just did a song of her recently. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what, it's, what we're comparing, but <laughs> Waffler. I was about to ask, yeah. <laughs> Both ladies can get it though. I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, but he said that. Though. Black is in a relationship. <laughs> <Ladies and gentlemen>. <laughs> <laughs> He's not trying to fuck shit up. Look at me, three years in the relationship and I'm fucking yeah, shit up. No, I, I don't know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want. Baby. Um, ooh, ooh, this is going to be fun. Uh, Bonang Kanyimbao. Oh, because of that. Oh, thing. shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was watch- I was watching it with my girl. Yeah. I'm gonna just say, oh, this is a difficult one. It's, yeah, it's a, it's crazy. You know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say Kanye, cause I'm closer to her. You let and me down. And also because she made that. Ah, uh, yeah. I like straight that song. Up, Shout out to Kanye, and she also got me a little, a little booking. You know what I mean? That's my. Uh, so that's I, my see, nigga, I see where that's coming from. That's I see nigga. where it's coming from. But Bonang's crazy for leaving the show. Bonang, She's yeah, lit. dog. But Kanye. Bro, what's happening with Tabo Besta, bro? Like as a South African, what the <laughs> fuck is going on with y'all? I don't know, bro. I'm just on the music. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Look, all uh, I know is he's a criminal. That's all I know. <laughs> when it, let's let's bring it back to the music, yeah? yeah. Uh, I'm about to let you go, by the way. For sure. Your your team gave me 30 minutes. So <laughs> I think we're kind of almost dabbling around beyond that. Let's get back to the music and let me ask you this. What is it about it that makes you want to keep doing it? Because uh, look, I asked this question, Blackie, because me being in the creative industry, man, and also doing this, there are days you wake up and you're like, fuck, do we got to do this? Yeah. But then again, it might be just something that is subjective to me. You might not feel it, but I think it, it's something that's, you know, it's general for a lot of people. When that happens to you, what keeps you going? I feel like I haven't, I haven't really completed like a mission. Okay. You know, cause back then we used to like dream a lot and talk about our dreams a lot. Yeah. And yeah, just every day there's like something little. Yeah. That's like, yo, you haven't done this yet. So you just right. gotta keep going in order to get to, to that point. Yeah. And then once you get there, there's more dreams. You know what I mean? So it never stops. Straight. Um, but yeah, it's just like, very big missions that I have to complete to sort of fulfill myself. Yeah, so it's, about, we, it's about me on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we should expect a lot of blacky, fire, yeah. hard tracks. Lots of lots of plaques, lots of crazy shows, yeah, lots yeah. of achievements, lots of crazy features, just mad stuff that hasn't been really seen before, yeah. I love that, man. My biggest condolence is going out to you for losing a few brothers in the industry. For sure. Uh, you're working on Mass Country together with AKA. Dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, also, classic. I'm swearing a lot tonight. I'm swearing a lot tonight. Classic, classic. Fudge, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a crazy joint. Crazy joint. That's a, that's a joint. My my girl loves that track. 
Uh, especially when Nadia says uh, something about fucking in the studio. So you swearing a lot, man. I'm swearing a lot. <laughs> Yo, can you help me with this product? <laughs> but it's cool. It's a podcast. It's not, it's not radio. But yeah, shout out to Nadia. Yeah. Um, Crazy joint. Yeah. Her verse is already there when I did the hook. Yeah. Actually, the song was done. I don't I don't know if people... The song was know. done. The song was already done. All I did was replace the hook. AKA was singing that hook. And then he was like, yo, I just want you to do it with the R&B oh, vibes and add yeah. the R&B backings. But I didn't write anything. All I had to do was just replace AKA's voice with my voice. So the whole song is his, really. Yeah, but I think that was visionary, though. He needed yeah, you. He needed sure. you for that he part. Knew yeah. He knew it. He knew it. He knew it. And then, so it must really affect you differently from a normal person who didn't know AKA personally when you hear the the passing of him. That yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. died. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I think we, we were on a we were on our way to a show when we heard the news, and you know, obviously, first few minutes you don't really believe it. You know. Yeah, you're like yeah. There's a, you know, there's just a lot of things that happen a lot of liars also so yeah. at first you're like nah and then you know just like the evidence started coming out and right, stuff right, like that and right. we're like nah bro it was a very sad day very sad day still still a sad time you yeah, know what I mean yeah, because yeah. you know after that you know Costa also yeah so it's just it's just been downhill for a very long time in terms yeah. of just like Legends and, 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 and artists and peers just, you know, getting lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if you had the same relationship, kind of relationship with uh, Ricky? Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure, for yeah. sure. I mean, I wouldn't really want to speak on it, but yeah. Okay, yeah. it's all good, man. <laughs> Look, Blackie, I appreciate you so much for stopping by, my brother. Uh, but before I let you go, as your last words, what do you want out of life? I want all the coins. Every <laughs> every single piece of money that is in the world. Did you say all the hoes? No, coins. Oh, coins. coins. Money. My bad. Paper. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Dog, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all the money in the world. That's what I need to be yeah. happy. Money equals happiness always. I got you. Brother, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> enjoy your time tonight. Got I know you. it's always electric when you perform. Uh, but I need you to enjoy your time and I appreciate you so much for stopping by gotcha. on the Juice 2.0 uh, until next time we bump into each other and we gotta do something together for sure for one sure. time bless shout out alright big shout out going out to Blackie for stopping by this is the Juice 2.0 you've been amazing for staying on click subscribe if you haven't notification button get all the content we get juicy because you want the juicy stuff God bless you and do one thing for me if you can stay juicy peace What's going on YouTube? My name is TK of The Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.